Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This is Parish Brewing Company's Anve, and that is a Cajun word for craving. Uh, these guys are out of Broussard, Louisiana. Louisiana. Uh, this was sent to me by Ricky. He sent me a couple of their beers, and uh, he also sent me some Mardi Gras beads here, guys. And these are not your typical little ones that. I've been to, to New Orleans, and uh, uh, not during Mardi Gras, but they're still chucking the beads and throwing that. Any of the girls wanting to flash their, uh, you know what, uh, they throw beads and all that stuff. And these are a little little more, got little jokers on there, but a little bigger size than uh, what I remember them chucking around down there. So he included these, so Ricky, thanks a bunch. Uh, don't know when I'll make it back to uh, New Orleans. Uh, but hopefully I will one day, and I'd like to be there during Mardi Gras. I heard it is a wild damn time. Even when it's not Mardi Gras, down in Bourbon Street stuff, it's pretty wild things going on all the time. So uh, hopefully one day that'll happen. Uh, this is their, like I said, their Envy. Uh, it is a pale ale uh, coming in at like 5.5%, 53 5.3 on this bottle here. So, uh, and right on the neck in bright yellow, it's got bottled on 42017. 420, yeah, fired up. Uh, so, today is the 13th of June. So, that's April, May, June. We're not quite two months old in it, so. Uh, I uh, wanted to do it fairly quick, uh, and actually both of them, since either uh, getting to be two months old, it's, you want to drink them as fresh as possible, guys. I tell you that all the time, all the damn time. Drink your beers as fresh as you can get them all. Get your hands on them, unless you've got some kind of bourbon barrel aged stout, porter, uh, barley wine, uh, all your hoppy beers and your IPAs and pails and stuff. You want to drink them fairly fresh. I do, anyway. I'm not into the malty, the malt bombs, so I like to drink them fresh as possible. So once again, once to Ricky, thank you. I do appreciate it, sir. Let's get on with this. As far as IBUs, let's see if we've got anything. Untapped has it at 5.5%, not 5.3, and they're listing IBUs as 42. So evidently, uh, it's changing from year to year, evidently. Maybe last year's was 5.5. .5. This is 5.3, pretty close. So we're going to go with that. Uh, I don't think it's got the IBUs written on there. And it also has a Best Buy thing down here on the bottom of the sticker, but there's nothing written there that I can see. Glad they're doing the bottom on. That's what we need. Best Buy, mm, not so much. So, let's see what it brings to the table. It looks fairly cloudy in the bottle, so maybe it's a, their attempt at a, uh, the juice bomb, or at least an unfiltered beer. So we will, we shall see. We shall see. Uh... The commercial description I have here on Untab, Parish Envy is brewed with loads of citrusy American hops to create an assertive yet balanced American pale ale. We've used sweet caramel malts to mesh harm harmoniously with a dominant hop taste and aroma. Take a sip, embrace the hops, and repeat. So, from what I'm getting from that description, sounds to me like it's a hop forward pale ale. So, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. First beer of the day. Very hot outside. Uh, matter of fact, 
y'all probably heard some background noise uh, when I was uh, doing that little six second thing at the beginning. That was the AC running. It's been very warm here the last couple of days. Alright, to the glass we go. Very cloudy coming out of the bottle, guys. Cuisine's Pan Asian, cheese of the earthy camera Fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asialgo Colby Parmesan, your tangy cheeses, Brick Adam Feta, and the meat is poultry. Well, that's where is the pint, Becker, Nonic, Tumbler, Mug, Silent Side Dale. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today. And not recommended for sin and salary, guys. Very cloudy. Wow. Very reminiscent of a juice bomb. Looks a lot like. I don't know if I would say orange juice. Looks like a half and half between orange juice and grapefruit juice in the glass. Definitely looks like a New England style. It definitely does. So these guys in, in Louisiana are, are getting into the New England style too. They're being done all over the country now. So uh, I wish they would be doing them around here. God almighty. These guys around here just want to do session beers. <laughs> and I might be into session beers, guys. I don't If I... Drink a beer. I want it to be at least five percent, maybe even a six or seven percent. But uh, these guys around here, they're into that session stuff, and they and most of the breweries around here are, like a lot of breweries, they're trying to get the macro drinkers, the Bud Miller, Coors drinkers, into something with a little more taste. And uh, they're not catering to the people that's been drinking craft beer for a long time, and wanting to see them do stuff like this. Maybe it'll happen one day. I don't know. Anyway, looks very orangey, uh, looks like a juice bomb, it's super cloudy, uh, about a finger of uh, head on that pour, let's get it to the nose. Very citrusy, any hints of grapefruit and oranges, maybe a little bit of pineapple in there, nice tropical fruit notes in there guys, very fruity. Smells delish. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Ricky. Very tasty. Very nice job. Absolutely no alcohol notes at all. Very much like drinking a half and half orange juice, grapefruit juice concoction. Very tropical. Very delicious. Wow, that is very tasty. Uh, wish I could have found them when I was down there a couple years ago. I ended up having to drink a lot of the uh, Turbo Dog and some of the other... Uh, Transitional style beers, that's what I call them when I was down there. Uh, I couldn't find anything like this. So, and they may have not been making this when I was down there. It's been three or four years since I was there. So, and these, this style is just now going to town, as they say. Uh, everybody is wanting to do something like this. Or, seems like a lot of them are wanting to do this and, and, and are doing it. So, uh, and I'm very appreciative because these beers have a lot of flavor and taste. And there's people that, oh, I'm tired of the juice bob. I don't want to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wah, wah, wah. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Don't drink it. I do like it. And I appreciate everybody like Ricky and Rico and all the Greg and, and everybody that sends me these juice bombs to try. Because I cannot get them here, guys. Uh, so it's really nice to have the subscribers that I do that send me all these wonderful beers, even the breweries that do. So, uh, well, let's sip on this for a little bit, let her taste it, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Very, very tasty pale ale. Uh, low bitterness. Uh, I don't know if we can go with what Untapped has got here, but 42 IBUs, I would say it's probably pretty close. Their ABV is 5.5, or this is 5.3. I'd say it's pretty close to that. Very low bitterness on this beer. Very easy drinking if you wanted to get into something a little hoppier without all the bitterness that typical IPAs and double IPAs have. This would be an excellent. If you wanted to try a juice bomb that didn't have a lot of bitterness like most of them do uh, that are IPAs and double IPAs, this would be an excellent one. So uh, 
Very easy drinking, very citrusy, a lot of tropical fruit notes here, very hot forward, very pleasant beer, guys. I think this is very enjoyable. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. Wonderful aroma. Like I said, these uh, juice bombs and the pale ales, I've had a couple of them now. Uh, they're awesome. They're, they are awesome. Uh, these juice bombs have ruined me. Uh, I mean, they're doing them in pales and uh, IPAs and double IPAs. Uh, excellent style. I love it. Final cut. A very delicious beer, guys. Very well done. Very impressive beer. I do think it's an A beer. I'm going to give it an A minus. Numeric rank for me would be a 92. Got the bottled on date on it. That's what we want to see, guys. Tell us when it was put in the bottle of a can. Not some best buy, enjoy buy, use buy, or whatever buy date. If you want to put that on there also, that's fine. But give us a bottle or can on date. Well done, Parrish. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 92. Imagine that. That's where I'm putting it, right there. And over to Untapped, they say 3.96. That's their borderline B plus A minus category, in my opinion. I usually don't consider it uh, A minus till it gets to four, but uh, the best scores I've ever seen from them is like 4.56, 4.57. Never seen a five, which would be their top five caps. So I've uh, never seen anything get that. I don't know why, but uh, there should be some beers that, that, that do, which I have not seen or reviewed yet. So. I think it's an A beer, A beer, uh, as far as I'm concerned, all around. So, Ricky, once again, my friend, I do appreciate you sending this to me. He also sent me uh, another version of the the Anve uh, beer. So, uh, I think we might do that one tomorrow. Uh, uh, I don't remember what date was on it, so I'm going to get to them pretty quick. So, if you've had this one, the Anve from Parrish Brewing Company, uh, very tasty juice bomb coming from Louisiana. So. Uh, Nice beer, very nice beer. So if you've had it, guys, especially the new edition is 5.3%, not 5.5. Let me know what you think. Come back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge.